Cardi B is hitting Nicki Minaj where it hurts because Nicki's husband just got arrested again. Nicki's husband Kenneth got into it with Offset a couple of days ago and he got busted for threatening to murk Offset. Well, Nicki is obviously super mad at this and she is sending some serious warning shots at Cardi. If y'all thought the Cardi versus Nicki beef was bad, well, it just got worse. Now, we all know that Nicki Minaj and Cardi B don't exactly see eye to eye and they've been involved in this crazy beef since 2017 and it has has been getting worse every single day. I mean, sure, they're not throwing shoes at each other in public or getting into nasty fights, but they still throw subliminal shade at each other online every once in a while. And they generally can't stand each other. And their fans aren't left out because the Barbs are always eating Barty gang. The Barty gang are always coming for the Barbs. But over the years, people have just stopped paying attention to their beef. Cause let's be real, two adult women shading each other online can get tiring. But all eyes are now once again on this beef and it's all because of the ladies' husbands Offset and Kenneth Petty. Now, both men are known to have gotten into some trouble in the past because Offset has been to jail and he sometimes gets into fistfights. And as for Kenneth, well, I don't think we need to go into details about that because we all know the type of trouble that he's gotten himself into. Now, Kenneth's shady past first became public knowledge a couple of years ago when he moved to LA after marrying Nikki and failed to register as an offender. This got him on house arrest for some time as as well as probation. And if you guys know anything about probation, you are usually not allowed to hang around with people with a criminal past or get into any trouble of any kind. Well, for the past couple of months, he has been doing a good job of keeping his head down and staying out of trouble until now. So a couple of days ago, a video went viral of Kenneth and his friends outside calling out for Offset and threatening to jump him if they see him outside. That's it. That is fun, that shit. Like a I go Kanye. I'm gonna be shot, man. Mm. I'm gonna be shot, yeah. Uh -huh. We outside. Uh -huh. Big uh -huh. Zoo outside. Please, it got even worse when Kenneth threatened to murk Offset. Yo, yo, fucking money, man. What's up? Yeah. Where is that, man? Yeah. Huh? You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. They said you don't yeah. know. Yeah. Big Zoo. Yeah. 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 that vacation. Yeah. You're planning your funeral, pussy. Yeah. 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 All the way to the street. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Threatening to do this to someone on a regular day is bad enough, but saying this when you're on probation is a very bad idea and stupid because you're just asking to get into even more trouble. And as expected, people started to drag him for being messy and accusing him of trying to start drama with Cardi for no reason. And of course, Nikki got dragged into it as well. Nikki and Kenneth got so much smoke that he decided to share some private messages between him and Offset where they had some sort of argument. According to the text, Offset DM Kenneth a couple of days ago and asked him to pull up saying, where you located? You old men and females business with no money for war. Don't post me either since you a gangster, right? You live in Charlotte too? Kenneth replied, I'm outside heavy, ain't hiding from no man, especially no rap man. I'm outside gangster. Shut the F up, man. You ain't even getting no get back for them guys killing your people. Offset then replied, you a grown man talking ish about a woman. You're a P. Offset also said, you guys too old and don't be outside. And also you can think what you think, but you broke and ain't ain't far from me catching already. I'm not gonna say ish else to you online. Kenneth replied, I ain't hiding my man, get in line. Offset clapped back saying, get some money. Child, not the broke shaming. Offset continued, goofiness. You men ain't standing on no business or no money. You broke, I can tell, goofy man. And Kenneth threw a punch below the belt when he brought up takeoffs saying, use that money to get them men that killed your partner, my G, that's gangster. They continue to go back and forth, daring each other to pull up and just trash talking each other. And then Kenneth and his gang took Offset up on his dare and they did in fact pull up. Now, we don't know what exactly went down between them for Offset to DM Kenneth out of the blue or why they were so mad at each other, but there are speculations that something went down at this year's VMAs that we didn't know about and that's why they were so mad at each other. This kind of adds up because like I said, Offset sliding into Kenneth's DM was just random. Well, Kenneth's video where he was threatening Offset went viral and surprise, surprise, it got him into a lot of trouble with the parole board and he was sentenced to four months of house arrest. According to the legal documents, Kenneth was recorded on video making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record. As such, the probation officer believes placement in the location monitoring program will effectively allow for closer monitoring, limit his movements, provide a 
sanction for his non-compliance and hopefully encourage him to reflect upon and reevaluate his current status in the community. Child, not them telling him to go stand in the corner and think about what he's done. The document went on to say, praying that the court will order Kenneth Petty shall participate for a period of up to 120 days in a home detention program, which may include electronic monitoring GPS. When Kenneth bragged about being strapped, he probably didn't consider that he was going to be getting a monitor strapped to his ankle. And I have to admit that Kenneth overplayed his hand on this one because not only did he violate the terms of his parole, but he also bragged about it and posted it on the internet for the world to see. And he got busted for it and then got clowned by the entire internet. Now this is where we saw Nikki speak up and she brought up the fact that someone in the music industry had been making false claims to the police and CPS about her family and that this resulted in police surrounding her home with guns. She shared an audio snippet of one of the recordings and she wrote, two times my home was surrounded by large guns. This person wanted a family with a two year old to be at, yet nothing on any blog. This same person made a false claim to CPS. When you have snitches in high places of the music industry who don't want you to win, but realize they can't stop you because God's anointing in my life is very real. Funny how this person hasn't been found, mentioned, arrested, nada. She didn't name any names, but I think we all know who she was hinting at. She also said, can't call the cops every time you flop, just saying. And a child who's done nothing to anyone but bring joy. You gonna get the brakes beaten off of you. Ain't reading comments, don't give a F about about them so knock yourself out show this to them write it down take a picture try to stop being amazed what i do i stepped on them best dress according to vogue body smoking child not her exposing cardi for trying to stop her bag at the vmas this also confirms what people were saying about how something went down between them at the vmas that led to this showdown but that's not all because nikki literally asked her fans to swat cardi she wrote barbs tomorrow i'ma tell y'all who to swat since swatting a home with a baby isn't a felony let's go and you already know Cardi is not the one to back down. She tweeted, keep me and my mans out y'all effing mouth. This drama had fans in a chokehold and they said, the worst part is that Cardi B and her husband Offset didn't have to do anything. Offset didn't even reply to Nicki Minaj's husband. A federal judge just peeped the man being childish online and ordered him to sit at home for three months. What an L for Mr. Kenneth Petty. Nicki Minaj is going out sad. Every time Kenneth Petty is brought up, it's only drama and filth. Kenneth Petty, before you ever come for Offset, or Cardi, make sure you can match his tax bracket and do something expensive for your old wife one day. And so what about the threats that Offset sent Akbar V or the subs toward Nikki? so he can protect and have a laugh with his wife, but Kenneth can't? This tells me Cardi and Offset lie in their raps. They ain't really about that life, playing the back when the real killers is out. This situation is insane, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, and then check out this next video.